Hey Art Tribe, thanks for tuning in to another episode here on my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is MJ and I am a California Bay Area oil painter. And today we are diving into the eccentric and amazing life of the late Frida Kahlo, who's a huge inspiration of mine. So let's dive right in. All right, guys, so these facts that I looked up were facts that I, as a Frida Kahlo fan, did not know myself. So hopefully at least one of these facts are brand new to you. Number one, she frequently included symbolic monkeys into her paintings. In Mexican mythology, monkeys are symbols of lust, However, Frida Kahlo portrayed them as tender and protective symbols. Fun fact about Frida Kahlo was that this was one of the first paintings that I, or one of the first painters that I recreated when I was about 15 and started painting for the city where I live. And they wanted me to recreate a Frida Kahlo painting, which was one of the self-portraits that she had painted with one of her beloved spider monkeys. Fact number two. The Louvre, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Louvre, Louvre, bought one of her paintings. This was the first work by a 20, 20th century Mexican artist ever purchased by the internationally renowned museum. Additionally, Frida Kahlo's painting Roots holds auction record for a Latin American piece of art. In 1943, the work sold for $5.6 million, or the painting was painted in 1943 and was sold for $5.6 million in 2006. This little fact was not one that I had exactly in included in my top 10 facts. But I just thought it was really interesting because I remember watching the movie that uh, Salma Hayek played Frida Kahlo in. And I know at the end of the movie, spoiler alert for anybody that hasn't seen the movie, first of all, it's an amazing film. So if you have time, make sure you watch it. But at the end of the movie, Frida Kahlo shows up in an, am in, uh, an ambulance. I had no idea that she had gone against the doctor's orders in order to make... Uh, make an entrance pretending that the ambulance was in a limousine. Fact number three. Frida Kahlo's artwork is record breaking. On May 11th, 2016, at the first auction to put a major Frida Kahlo up, a major Frida work up for sale in six years, her painting Dos this Desnudos in el Bosque sold for $8 million, the highest auction price for any work of a Latin American artist. So she just keeps on breaking her own records. Number four. She became a painter after a near fatal accident on September 17th, 1925. Frida and her friend Alex were riding in a bus when it crashed into a street, collie car, street trolley car. Due to the injury she suffered as in, that, in the accident, Frida had to undergo 35 operations in her life, and she could not bear children. During the period of the three months after the accident in which she was immobile, Frida made several self-portraits using the mirror across her bed. This led to Frida Kahlo abandoning the career that she had tried to establish in medicine and becoming an artist. Fact number five. All of the, all over the world, people were in love with Frida. She traveled to France and was wined and dined by Picasso. She appeared on the cover of French Vogue despite not being well known. Those who didn't know of her work were huge fans. Fact 
fact number five. Frida Kahlo changed her birthday to three years later to in 1910 because she wanted her birth to coincide with the birth of the modern Mexican Revolution. Fact number six, which was the most shocking Frida fact that I found, was that when Frida Kahlo was still a schoolgirl, she had her first lesbian affair. Her first affair with a woman was after her parents had removed her from school because they had discovered letters between the young Frida Kahlo and her former teacher, Sarah Zenel, which is just kind of appalling. Fact number seven. After Frida Kahlo had ha had experienced her traumatic bus accident, her body was left covered in gold powder. In somewhat surrealist way of looking at it, the broken packet of gold powder what had landed all over Frida Kahlo's bleeding body. So she probably looked horrible and magnificent at the same time. Fact number eight. When Frida Kahlo was only seven years old, she helped her teen sister at the time run away with her boyfriend. She helped her, f her 15 year old sister Matilde run away to Veracruz with her boyfriend to escape her strict Catholic parents. Frida Kahlo was able to keep this secret from her parents until Matilde reappeared five years later. If you guys hear some snoring, it is my 150 pound Neapolitan Mastiff who is on my right hand side and also my studio mate. So I apologize for that disruption. <laughs> Fact number nine. After her death, after Frida Kahlo's death, the rise of feminism in the 1970s sparked a renewed interest in her work. Frida Kahlo's reputation ended up going over Rivera's, who was her husband, and she grew to become one of the world's most famous painters. Feminist theories embraced Frida Kahlo's deeply personal portraits for their insight into the female experience. She refused to be defined by others' definition of the self-love definitions and ended up showing herself. She refused to be defined by others' definitions and the self-love shown in her proud capturing of her natural unibrow and mustache speak to the modern feminist concerns over gender roles and, gender roles and body positivity. So I know that a lot of feminists love Frida Kahlo because she is a huge inspiration. And that's the reason I love her because she just didn't really care about what anyone thought. And one of my favorite photographs of Frida is when she is dressed up as a man in her family portrait. And I just love that image. Fact number 10. Fact number 10. Out of 143 paintings, 55 of them are self-portraits and 88 of them are not. She went, she underwent 35 different operations as a result of her bus, of her tragic bus accident in her youth. So yeah, Frida Kahlo is pretty badass and she is an amazing lady and lived a somewhat tragic life. Uh, I had the the wonderful experience of seeing a lot of her pieces in person when sh her paintings came to San Francisco, probably, I'd say maybe 10 years ago. That was definitely a very inspirational day for me and saw and I w it was just amazing to be in the presence of her work. Please take a second to look at my Patreon page linked down below. I have given away copies of this print on there. I do not have it up on my shop yet, but I'll have my shop linked down below as well for your reference. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Also, 
please take a second to check out my patreon page where even one dollar of your support makes a huge difference uh there's a lot of different rewards available on my patreon page and i would love for you to guys just to go take a look thanks